Hey guys, it's Victor and Charlie here for Yummy Japan and today we are out here in Shizuoka Prefecture in the city of Numazu. Yes, the city of Numazu is super popular for its view spots of Mount Fuji. Mm -hmm. You got a beautiful view on the ocean. It's breathtaking, the landscapes. But we're not just here for landscapes, we're also here to eat. And one of Numazu's specialty is Takahashi Gani. Which is Shigani. super big crab. Super big crab. Like, spider crab. Like those spider no, they're, crabs they're are like gigantic. Jesus it's Christ. like three meters wide spider crabs. Can you imagine? They're really heavy. They can go up to 10 kilos actually. Whoa. 10 kilos! That's huge. Well, without any further ado, why don't we get our grub on? Let's do it. I'm super hungry. All right, let's do this. All right, Victor, there's something I want to show you. What is this? You said you didn't like spider crabs. Yeah. I'm not really fond of them. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Dude, this is like a face hugger. It is. It could hug you three times. I'm out. I don't want you to lose someone. What? <gasps> Victor, look at the size of this crab. This is oh my god, oh it's my huge. Wow. That's huge. Guys, look at this. This is guys. This is insane. This is probably the biggest food we've had. I think this one, before being cooked, was like around like 10 kilograms. Yeah, it's really heavy. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put okay. it back. Yeah. I seriously want to know this. Who was the first person who went into the ocean, saw this monstrous alien, and decided that it looks good to eat? <laughs> I have no idea. Just check Wikipedia if you want. I bet you it was the French. Okay, but let's eat. No more of this nonsense of yours. Having some technical difficulties here. Okay. So we have a very nice sized spider crab. Yes. Now, the good thing to know is in this shop, depending on the size, the price will change. This one is at Ichimayan, which is almost $100. Pretty expensive, but considering the size, you can probably share it for like four or five people. All right, so Charles, teach me how to eat this huge spider crab. Okay, let's do this. This looks pretty scary to eat. <coughs> Actually, it is very easy, you see? At this shop, they actually make everything easy for you. They already broke the leg, so all you do is just pull, and, and that is like just pure meat. And just, well, pull the meat down, up. And we have some miso, which is made from crab meat itself. Just dip it in. Dip it into the miso. All right, and, and let's try it. Fantastic. Very fantastic. So soft. Oh my god, it's <laughs> delicious. I'm having a tough time here. Give me... Oh gosh. I'm sorry, Mr. Crab. Okay, right, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into the miso. And then Charles recommended I only put a little bit, so here it goes. You're right. It is very, very soft. Um, the miso itself is actually a little bit strong. It's got it a very unique, miso. unique taste to it. I yeah. Know. What do you describe it? It's like saucy and oceany because they use some of the actual crab itself. For me though, to be honest, like I've never really digged crab, so I'm kind of really biased for this one. So for this, I would say this is about like a six out of 10. Okay, six and out six out of 10 is, I think I'm being fair. Uh, one, because I'm just, I really don't like dig crab too much. Apologies everybody. I just think it's like the, the alien look of crab that really kind of puts me off. I don't know, it just messes with me psychologically, so it's really hard for me to eat. Um, however, the taste is good. I'm not gonna lie, the taste is good. All right, Charles. Yeah. Go ahead and get try another piece here. Okay, I'm gonna try the, the end of the leg. Okay. Mmm, the taste is very different. Right? That's why I noticed that too. I think it's very delicious. Very, very fondant in French. Melt in your mouth. <laughs> we got we to gotta find a new word for melt in your mouth. Yeah, I'm definitely. so sick of saying melt in your mouth. Yeah. So everybody down in the comments below, if you know another description for melt in your mouth to describe food, please write it. Cause, uh, please, it's, it comes it, up in every episode. In Japan, like the food always melts in your mouth. I think I 100% love crab. I'm a crab fan. Nice. For me, it's a 10 out of 10. Really? Holy shit. A 10 out of 10. Wow. A 10 out of 10. We definitely have conflicting views here. Yeah, now I, I completely understand the whole psychological thing of eating such a creature. Because mm -hmm. it does look like a huge spider. Yes. But it's f***ing delicious. Charles getting violent up in here. <laughs> Whew. I don't know about you Charles, but I am, I am stuck. I am super stuck. That was a lot of crap. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was okay. 
<laughs> it was good, it was good though. I'm not gonna say it was horrible because it wasn't. It was just Is this your bias because you're I'm not a big biased, fan? Yeah, that's not a big fan. But I imagine with you being a huge fan of it, you gave it a legit ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, no one's like perfect. Just because it's like a six or a five or something doesn't mean it's bad, it's just yeah. mm -hmm. It's our personal it's opinion. Personal opinion. So I mean, if you love crab, maybe you'll like this a little bit more. So split in between both of us, this would have been like five thousand yen. 50 yeah, so bucks. like four, yeah, fifty bucks. Fifty basically. bucks for an experience like this and an amazing view. Like view you can see the fantastic. rolling mountains out in the distance. That's actually I kind of want to go take pictures now. But yeah, they do have a lot more items on the menu. They may not have an English menu, so you will need a significant amount of Japanese to be able to order. But the cool thing is that, like most menus, they do have pictures. It's easy to just be able to just point. But they have other items on the menu. They have tempura, they have fish, they have lobster, sushi, sashimi, and more. This was our first venture, like really outside of Tokyo to review some food. So we really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more of a kind of like a travel twist, into our videos, please leave a comment down in the description below. We'd love to hear your feedback in order to help improve the channel. Definitely. Yeah, so again, like, subscribe, hit the bell button, you know the usual. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers! Cheers.